What's going on out there this week, guys? It is J-Rob here from Team Energy Golf Clash, and we are here today to give you guys a little sneak peek out here on the YouTube channel of some of our patron-only content. So, we've got an awesome video here today for you guys talking about the Golf Clash Notebook Slider app and how to properly adjust and calculate your shots. So I definitely think this video will help you. If you guys would like to watch the full length video that's going to be over on our Patreon platform at patreon.com slash jrobgc. I definitely think that the full video would really help you guys out a lot. So if you guys are wanting to check that out, you can sign up to become a patron. So Let's jump on into the video, guys, here. If it is your guys' first time to the channel, make sure you guys definitely do consider subscribing, especially if you're going to hop on over and watch a couple more videos. Smash that like button, guys, and let's get on into it. All right, guys, what is up? Welcome to the guide. So today we are going to be going over the Golf Clash Notebook Slider, the app in general, and how everything works with adjusting for your shots. So I really do hope this guide is helpful for some of you guys out there. Um, we're going to do our best here at explaining everything on the app and how things work. Uh, we're going to do a general kind of tutorial here on how things work, and then we'll jump into actually showing you guys some live gameplay and how I adjust for my shots uh, and, you know, kind of uh, work with everything. So when we first open up the app, we're going to have to set up our club bag there like I was just showing you guys on the screen. So make your bag, set up your clubs, uh, and then as you guys can see as we go through here on the actual wind assist, that's going to be up in the top left corner. Now you're going to want to hit that wind assist button and it's going to bring you into this screen here which is essentially uh, an overall calculator that is built into a database that has like an algorithm that essentially calculates everything for you with the slider in play and everything in a perfect mix like you're essentially typing in numbers every single time you touch like the sniper or you know you put in your wind or a number actually of your wind or the power of your ball that all has a certain number and factors in with the wind per ring the number that your club is of the level of your club and whatever power ball you're using so essentially Elevation is going to be the only thing that really factors into that sometimes that you're going to have to adjust whether or not, uh, you know, where your shot's at other than your club distance. But essentially, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to type in 6.7, just a random wind miles per hour that we have there. And as you can see, with 0% elevation here and a crosswind, we have a 6.7 wind per ring adjustment there on the left hand side for our sniper at level 10 because we have 100% accuracy. Now if we bump it up here to plus 10% elevation at 100% club with a power 2 ball then that's going to bring us to 7.4 rings per this 6.7 miles per hour wind. So if we have a 6.7 miles per hour wind we're going to move that at 10% elevation with a power 2 ball, 7.4 rings on a crosswind. Now, let's see what happens when we change that to a power 5 ball. So we change it to a power 5 ball, and you can see where our actual numbers take in effect here and how the different power balls jump up because now that moved us to an 8.0 miles per hour uh, ring per this wind. So essentially that's at max distance but if we move that to a tailwind or a headwind that's going to bump us all the way up to 10.1 and then if we go back to our power 2 ball here that's going to jump us all the way up to 9.3 there so a tailwind and a headwind is definitely a huge factor and will change your numbers quite a bit now i also want to say here as well that normally when i play uh, a headwind or a tailwind angle, I'll usually add like plus 5% to my adjustment and see how that works out for me. Now, if it doesn't work out too well in my favor, I'll change it back down to 10% if that's usually the number that we go with. But as we go with, you know, a headwind or a tailwind, it getting that much, uh, you know, it's usually quite a bit of a, a difference. Um, and it is different, you know, per your club distance and whatever wind per ring and your actual wind is. Uh, so it's kind of different for every shot. So 
it's going to you know kind of factor in what your actual club distance is as well now i want to talk about here on the left hand side here at mid and max essentially those uh, you know, are going to be the same. The yellow ring or the yellow numbers there in the middle is going to be your mid distance. The top one is going to be max, and then the bottom one at 7.3 is going to be your minimum distance. And that would be 7.3 would be the number as if we dragged our club distance on the slider to the right all the way down to zero, you would hit 7.3. Now, uh, essentially, what we're going to talk about next here is our margin of error for our slider on the right hand side and how that's uh, you know kind of not really a big factor as far as getting it exactly right every single time you don't have to be so precise with it because as you can see here I'm dropping down through the ticks uh, and we're going from 60 to 59 we we're just at 8.8 .8. and then we go down like four clicks to you know 60 to 56 and that drops us a, a decimal now that's essentially going to be your margin for error. Now, every single club is going to have a different margin for error because it has a different accuracy. Now, let's say like the quarterback and the sniper, you know, they're both at 100% accuracy. So the margin for error there on your slider is going to normally be the exact same. Uh, so as you can see there, you know, dragging it down, you can see, you know, at 0% there, you know, we, we were about to hit 7.3 there. If, if you guys saw it, you know, see uh, mid goes down to 7.3 there um, if we drag it all the way down to 0%. So that's kind of where your numbers, and, and you have a range for each wind that we do have. So essentially, um, you know, it's all an equation and how you essentially have to be, you know, kind of calculated as far as knowing what ball you're using in your clubs and uh, you know typing in the level of your clubs because like we were saying the level of your clubs does take in a big factor in the accuracy of actually um, you know calculating the numbers and having those numbers be right because certain accuracies have um, you know a certain wind per ring and a certain number essentially that is like one ring like your one ring could be like 1.9 on the goliath but then it could be like 1.1 or like 1.0 on the sniper per ring so uh, essentially it's going to grow just slightly but as far as the slider and calculating in our shot say you know I, I we're trying to replicate a shot and you know i post our guide um and let's say you know, we're going to play this sniper shot here at max distance, full 100% club. Or we're gonna say, we'll say we'll play it at 85% club. And we're going to play this, you know, near max distance, but, you know, kind of in between mid and max. So we're going to play it at 85% club with this certain amount of spin adjustment. That's not really, uh, you know, vital information here for this uh, scenario. But say we're playing at 85% club, this certain adjustment and we're playing it at 10% elevation. Now, our number is X. Our number is this. Now, essentially, it's not going to matter too much. Say that you guys are sliding through your slider, you're trying to replicate the shot, and you get to 83%, and it just, you know, you're pulling it off and your finger jumps a little bit. So, you're only going to be technically off. We have that margin of error like I was talking about. So if you're within that 4% or 8%, technically you're only going to be zero, you know, one-tenth of a ring off. You're going to be like 0 0.10. So if you break down your one ring, you're going to be one out of ten one rings shy or, you know, left to right. So it's not going to throw you too far off. So, so you don't have to worry about, you know, being too calculated or precise, you know, with your actual slider uh, percentage. So thank you guys for watching this clip from the Team Energy patron platform. If you guys would like some access to exclusive behind the scenes content and some guides and tour guides that would really help out your game, definitely check out patreon.com slash jrobgc that is patreon.com slash jrobgc and you guys can find all of the information that you're looking for and tons of bonus content that will definitely help out your game
So, if it is your guys' first time to the YouTube channel, make sure you guys smash that like button, do consider subscribing, and we will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Peace.